On any new Macintosh you buy with OS X installed, you'll see across the bottom this strip of icons here. This is an area called the dock. This is a quick way to launch applications and to find files and folders. You might not care for it as it is though, it may perhaps be too big or in the wrong place on your screen. The first way to make a change to the size of the dock and the location is to come up to the Apple menu and choose System Preferences or just go straight to Dock here and Dock Preferences. This opens up the Dock System Preference. Here you can control the size. We can't actually make it any bigger because it's already as big as it can go, but you can make it very small if you'd like to. I'll leave it as large as it'll go for the moment. Another thing you can do is control the magnification. Check the magnification box here and now when you hover over a particular icon, that icon and the ones near it will grow larger. Personally I find that rather dizzying and prefer to turn it off. The other important thing here is to choose its position on screen, left, bottom or right. It defaults to the bottom, but if you prefer it on the left, click the left radio button and here it moves to the left side of your screen. I find that having it on the left tends to interfere with documents that I'm working on and prefer it on the right. Here you go here, on the right side of the screen. Here the dock is back on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to hold down the Apple key and hover over the dividing line here. You'll notice that when I do that, the cursor turns from a standard black arrow to a white double-headed arrow. I hold down the Apple key and I drag downwards to make the dock smaller, or I drag upwards to make the dock larger. Another thing I can do is hold down the control key and click and this quickly brings up the dock preferences, the position on screen and various other choices that I'll look at in another video. Try putting your dock in a different place and see how well that works for you.